Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Cosmos Atom. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to check that out before watching this one. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now let's jump straight into the TA. So taking a look at the daily chart, we obviously have the Fibonacci retracement set up with the swing high printed back in February, or that should be May 2021, and the swing low all the way back here in March of 2020. Now, for those of you who want to use the Fib like the correct way, so to speak, uh, you can move up the Fib all the way to where the body of the candle starts, okay? And uh, that way... Uh, you know, that's kind of the correct way to use it, but you can also use it off of Wix. It work, It also works, and uh, as you can see, it worked f tremendously well for us so far as we had a perfect bounce off the golden ratio here in May, June, slash July 2021. We had a perfect bounce off the 0 0.5 in June last year, and we had a perfect bounce off the golden ratio twice in, in you know, during the fall season last year. So, you know, this is the way I like to do it, and, uh, you know, you just do it the way you like to do it. It doesn't really um, affect it that much, uh, because, you know, if if we move it up just a bit to the upside where the candle ends, you know, the, the levels do shift quite a bit, but still, it's sort of in the same range, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So, let's get that out of the way, and... Uh, Zooming into the, and by the way, if you don't know how to use the Fibonacci retracement, there's going to be a link down below in the description to a video where I explain how to use the Fib retracement. So once you're familiar with that, come back and watch this video. So as you can see, we're um, failing to break above the 786 Fibonacci retracement right now for the third time, really. So the first time we attacked it in September last year, then in November last year, and right now we're doing the same thing in February uh, 2023, and we're failing to break above that, and each time the high is getting lower and lower, and that's not very good because it shows, you know, lack of strength, and when you start printing lower highs, typically you continue to see, this is sort of the precursor of a downtrend. Now, also, you have here a potential double top pattern or a double M top pattern, and your neckline is basically the golden ratio here. And if you lose that, you're going to have a technical target to the upside. For example, we take a trend line all the way down to the neckline, then you drag it down uh, to where the neckline ends, and you, there you go, you have your target at $5.13, which is roughly where we landed here back in June of 2021 at $5.70, you know, $0.60. So technically, we could just roughly say it's the 0 0.5. Now, that is if we lose the golden ratio here at $8.79. Personally, I don't think that's going to happen unless Bitcoin has a major pullback, and Bitcoin is going to have a major pullback only if we have some major bearish news coming in. Okay, so uh, there is some FUD starting to go around the internet regarding Polygon Matic and the situation with uh, the illegal trading or staking in China. If you want to look into that, um, you know, feel free to do so. And if you want me to make a video about that, uh, Feel free to let me know down below in the comment section, but I don't think that's going to affect the entire crypto space. I think that will mostly affect Polygon Matic and it might have a very strong sell off. And uh, I would love to see that, obviously, because I do want to buy into the project uh, at a lower price. Uh, so, yeah, that would be nice, but I digress. Now, we do have a support trend line, the yellow support trend line here that we've been holding. We had our nice retest February 13th, 14th. Since then, we had a move to the upside. So effectively, what we did here is we broke above that resistance level. We came back down for support and then we bounced up and already you're seeing a profit of around about 14% which is great. That was a great swing trade for you. Uh, if you still don't want to take profits right now, you can hold until you get to the 786 or to this resistance trend line that we have. If I zoom in a bit more, you can see we have a light blue resistance trend line. That's going to be around 19%, and that's where you can take profits approximately at $15.39. So if we manage to break above the 786, 
then that means that you know, that's obviously going to be very bullish as we couldn't do that for the past couple of times. And um, if we manage to hold it as support, we can start targeting our next important resistance level, which in fact is going to be obviously this little swing high here that we printed in September. And after that, really what we're targeting is this $20.20 mark. Let me bring a trend line uh, just so it's easier to see that. So we're going to be targeting that $20 and around 20 cents, but I would say $19.99 just to be safe. So that's going to be our next major target if we end up breaking above the 786. You obviously have this resistance here at $17.26. We can also add a Fibonacci retracement just to see where things are with this. So that's where the 1.414 is going to be. As you can see, spot on the one, the um, $20 price there. And the 1.618 is just slightly higher at $22.61. So that's only if we break above $15.59. That's, um, that's where I would be looking at, um, or that's when I would start targeting that area. But for now, Cosmos obviously is looking very strong. Uh, we printed this higher low in December, but we haven't really started printing any higher highs since uh, you know, since November here, because we printed a lower high and now we're printing a lower high once again, or actually double M top pattern. So it's not looking exactly bullish right now, but it's not looking very bearish either. Uh, if the price does come back down, we have a retracement. The first immediate support is going to be $12.48. Then we have $11.22. Then we have $10.65. And of course, then we have the golden ratio here at $8.79. But like I said, you know, it, it's going to have to take crypto is going to have to take quite a hit if Cosmos is going to be going down that low. Now, taking a look at the daily RSI, let's see what's going on here. I know quite a few trend lines here, but don't worry. So basically, the green trend lines represent uh, your sort of symmetrical triangle that you were in and you had this little fake out in January. And now you're coming back down lower. So I would be targeting the green trend line for entries as all the way back since May of 2022, we have been back testing that as support. And after every single back test, we had a move to the upside. So that's going to be a great entry, uh, historically speaking. You also have the pink trend line here. As you can see, we've, we have been back testing it since November of 2021 with a little fake out here in May and June of 2022. And we also have uh, the orange trend line here, but I don't think that's going to be really valid because it's going to be so low here, you know, below the RSI of 20. So we can remove that. We don't need that. Uh, what we need is the yellow support trend line here. So that's going to be a nice horizontal support at 34.1 on the RSI. And as you can see, we had two bounces there, one in, one in November, one in December. So potentially, if you see the RSI come back down there, that's going to be a nice entry for all of you. And uh, that's basically everything that I have for the daily chart. Now, let's switch over to the weekly. And before we continue, guys, I quickly want to talk about my Patreon. Now, if you want to get involved, there's going to be a seven day free trial. So you can go ahead and join and you're going to get access to all of my content since I started posting on Patreon, which was all the way back in October of 2021. So there are hundreds and hundreds of posts with low cap gems, my exclusive podcasts that I do for patrons only, my low cap gem reviews, project highlights your technical analysis requests, exclusive videos for patrons. So there is a whole bunch of stuff there that I don't share on YouTube or Twitter as to add more value to it. And I also share all of my buys, all of my sells. I share my portfolio in there. So if that's something that you're interested in and you really want to support the channel, then feel free to check it out. Thank you. So taking a look at the weekly chart, as you can see, uh, we have the same Fibonacci, well, not the same, but a, quite a different Fibonacci retracement here from the swing low in June this year to the swing high in September or in January 2022, I should say, but technically they're the same high, September 21 and January 22. And uh, that is our all time high at $44. And if we break that, we're going to be targeting $159. And potentially we're going to get there by the end of the next bull market. Maybe we even go higher. 
nobody nobody knows really but uh, just to be conservative and just to make sure that you take profits you could start taking you know selling a bit uh, once you get into the $80 range I would potentially start taking some profits there and make your way up until $160 and by the way you're going to be seeing dips throughout that period of time so you might as well just buy back in at some price at you know let's say $60, $50 around th those prices, but this is me just second guessing, obviously. And then you move to the upside and you sell at 80 again, you sell at $100 and so on and so forth. But you have to work out your own plan, obviously, and you have to stick with it. Now we have a major resistance level here, our resistance block, I should say. So as you can see, if I zoom in, I'm going to show you how I set it up here. So we have this load that we printed in December of 2021, and that's basically what um, you know, that's basically where this uh, top area of the block came in. And the bottom area came because we had a, first of all, a bounce here in February 2021. We had a resistance touch here in June of 2021, and we had a resistance touch here in September of 2022. So this is a pretty valid resistance block. Once we break into it, I think we're going to be heading towards the upside. And as you can see, the golden ratio here is sitting at $20 as well. So that $20 mark is really going to be an important level for us to break. And like I said, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it in one swing. Hopefully we are. But if not, we're going to be seeing a retracement down potentially to $15, maybe a bit lower. And then we're going to see that next leg up. And as you can see, my... Elliott wave structure is playing out so far, and I'm glad that that's the case. Uh, for this wave three to be valid, we need to see a move it above the first level or the first wave, I should say, because usually the the third wave is almost double the first wave or double the fifth wave. It's usually the highest, the strongest, the biggest wave. And so far, uh, we have been bouncing off this low, which was the sec uh, wave two low or the second wave low. And this was predicted perfectly by me, uh, not blowing my own trumpet, but this was something that I was looking for. And we saw a perfect bounce from that level uh, from around $8.60. And you're already looking at 75% profit. So uh, that's good. And uh, we're above the 20 MA currently running into the 55. So what we need is we need the 20 to push us above the 55, get that bullish cross going. And I think with that little, as you can see, we're getting uh, sort of compressed here. Once that 20 MA pushes us out of this little range, I think we're going to see quite a nice pump towards $20 ish. Okay, so if you want to swing trade, potentially you could do that, but not a financial advisor, you have to be careful. Also on the weekly, as you can see, we're breaking above major resistance levels. We just broke above this resistance level that we created back in February of 2021. We had a retest in September same year, and right now we're actually breaking above that, which is great to see. We had al almost had a bounce off the RSI of 40, so that was a great entry. And uh, yeah, this is this is pretty good. Uh, obviously, this is quite an impulsive move to the upside. So maybe we're going to see a pullback, potentially taking us down to either one of these blue uh, support trend lines. So we might see a bounce off of either one of those. So be on the lookout for that. And if we take a look at the volume here, we're getting good volume candles. This is looking good, but obviously this is not as bullish as January 2021, but we're slowly but surely getting there. And Cosmos is very undervalued in my opinion as well. So uh, let me just change the settings here for the um, for the stochastic because I don't really like the way the background looks. Um, there we go. Add a bit of color to that it was so so dark and uh, the stochastic basically bottomed out here in august and since then we've been moving to the upside which is great and uh, what else do we have the macd perfect ema squeeze here in december 2022 with a nice move to the upside uh, the histograms bullish right now so it's looking good for continuation so far but as you can see if you get too overextended like you did here in september october 2021 you get a pullback same thing, May, March, April, May 2021, you get a pullback. So we don't really want to get too overextended here. We want healthy pullbacks. That's what, what we have been seeing with Cosmos since the move to the upside from the June low. We had a move to the upside, healthy pullback, move to the upside, and now we're looking for 
you know, to top up obviously with wave three and then we want to have a healthy pullback. So let's see how this goes. And uh, thank you all for watching. If you want to check out my Patreon or Twitter, the links are down below in the description. Also, feel free to join my Telegram chat and the Discord server. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.